Hello, and welcome to Evil Inside. This is a game I've been looking to playing since January of this year, and apparently it came out last month in March, but I didn't even know that, so here's where we are now. Um, I should sound fine. I'm actually using a new mic, but that doesn't really matter. Um, in comp myself, in comparison to the game volume, I hope it sounds fine. I checked it out, it sounds like it's good enough. I hope it is. Um, now, ordinarily, so, this game, I watched the trailer for it, and it seem gameplay-wise, it seems like it's basically a facsimile of, um, the PT playable teaser for Silent Hills. Um, just like every other knockoff. Like, like, Layers of Fear was straight up a knockoff, basically. Visage, well, Visage wasn't really, but it had, it had the same inspiration, but Layers of Fear was like a total just knock off of it. This game should be the same way. Now, one thing I always do when, when I do these games like this is I look up how long it takes to beat these damn things just so that I have a uh, sort of idea on, um, well, how long it'll take me to beat it, how many videos it'll be. Um, this one is an outlier. The average time to beat this game is an hour or less. So I don't expect to be making like more maybe two videos on this shit. Now one thing I did for this game that I don't usually do is I also saw a general synopsis for it. Apparently, a guy named Mark, his mother died, and his father's in prison for it. Although his father probably didn't do it, considering the synopsis. And um, he tried to speak to her using a quote-unquote spiritual board which is a Ouija board, but I'm pretty sure they're just not allowed to say Ouija board because it's copyrighted or trademarked or whatever. Um, but it bl it blew up or something like that, and it put him in this, like, alternate dimension. Um, and uh, the objective of the game is to uh, find the fragments of the spiritual board so you can find out what the hell happened to the mother. And um, you just go along and creepy shit happens along the way. And that's pretty much this game. Settings. Let me make sure my settings are all good to go. English, music, sound. That's fine. I hope this game has a good atmosphere, dude. Like, Layers of Fear had a fantastic atmosphere, but Visage didn't. We'll see. I have a theory already right here. I, I have a theory this is going to be, like, infamous. Where if I press new game, uh, I don't even know if there will be a loading screen. But if I press new game, I feel like it'll just stay in this hallway, and I'll just start playing. So, uh, we'll see. Um, but overall, though, I, I have high hopes for this game. I really do. <clears throat> and, um, we'll see how good this is. About an hour. That's all I really have to say about it. I have nothing else to say about that than that. Um, let's go. Oh, save file. Right, right, right. And turn off the lights. Oh, for a better experience, play with headsets and turn off the lights. I was wrong. And we have breaking news that arrives from the north of the state of Oregon. North. Here we have Mary Jane Anderson, our reporter at the crime scene. Thanks, Joe. They found the body of Rose, the woman who went missing last Monday. Forensics located her camera near a well in which her lifeless body was also found. Her husband, the alleged killer, has already been arrested. Sorry, listen. Are you in contact with the afterlife? Yes. Tell me what you need. I need you to make contact with my mom. <sighs> so. 
So is this even his house? Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, okay. So, um, it explained itself basically, but aside from that, yeah, this is where you started out. Awesome. Huh. Well, the, the, the game looks nice so far. Hmm. Okay. So far, I am liking it. And the first thing that happens is a jump scare. Does this game control like a... Can you... What? There's no controller mapping? Or anything? Well, the pause menu gets an, immediately, an immediate minus one from my me. My mom is dead. My father in prison. And I have to take care of my little brother. Alright, so, um... A few, a few pluses and minuses right at the gate. One plus is the atmosphere. I actually do like it. The atmosphere is really good right now. I like this whole hallway thing. Um, the music is great. The, the, the overall game right now, I actually really, really like. Um, my minuses are that one, the main menu. The, the menu, I don't like it because there's nothing to it. I mean, you can pause it, but okay. You can't do anything else with it. And two, the actual controls. So, I don't know if it's supposed to be this way, but whenever I do anything... There's there's about a half a second delay. Like if like if I look left right here, see when I look left or right, there's about a like there's about a half a second delay from when I'm actually doing things. Like it it feels like I'm doing share play right now, straight up. Like that's how much of a delay there is. So I don't like that delay. Let's see. So that's a minus one too. Dude, okay, this is straight up. <sighs> This is straight up PT, man. With that interior balcony being right there. Yeah, in case anybody didn't know the names of those damn things, that's called an interior balcony. Oh, and as far as the story goes, because I talked about the story before I even saw the cutscene, that may have been spoiler, I'm not sure, but like, when you readily purchase the game, like, the part of the synopsis that I read is readily available, so like, if, if that's like a major spoiler thing, which it shouldn't be because it's the very first cutscene, then the synopsis is fucked up. There's a lot of motion blur, which isn't a bad thing. I'm just pointing it out. There's a lot of motion blur. Like you can like you can see that. I feel I feel like this is the type of shit that would give people seizures. Okay. Mom? What about a mom? Oh, is she on the radio? Oh, there we go. Jackie? Fuck that. Dude, so far, this game's just general atmosphere and environment are fantastic, though. I gotta say that. Like, Layers of Fears was too. This game's is too. Although I turn really slow and I can't change the sensitivity because, like I said, the pause doesn't really... What the hell? Do shit. <clears throat> huh. Unsettling, then against the point. So as far as I know, this game is first-person psychological horror, as far as I know. Oh, it's a basement, the place where you don't want to go as a kid. Especially at night. Especially by yourself. That's where the boogeyman gets you. <clears throat> as far as this game goes, that notion just might be accurate. Was I afraid of the dark as a child? Absolutely, dude. Fucking A, I slept with a goddamn nightlight until I was 11. Let's see. 
Can I read that newspaper? No. Breaking news. I take it this isn't the kind of game where you can explore. So I I'm used to playing games like Soma, where every little thing you can go and explore and it tells you something. This game doesn't seem to be that way. So far, at least. I can't sprint either. Okay. Fuck you, door. <laughs> PT. Okay, I'm seeing how this game's gonna be working out. Yeah, okay, this is a this okay. So <laughs> fuck. So this game has a lot of jump scares on it. Got you. <sighs> I gotta say though, I hope this game doesn't over rely on jump scares. Jump scares are okay. Jump scares are fine for a horror game, but you need to have legitimate atmosphere and legitimate tension. That's when jump scares work. You gotta build them up and you gotta use them effectively. Don't be like Fry don't be like Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's is bullshit. I never even played that game, but I know all about it. Jump scares don't do shit without proper context. Now, I'm not I'm not saying the game is done it so far, but I'm just saying that I hope the game doesn't do that. Where it just uses them willy nilly. Daily news. Oh, fuck you. Okay. So I listened to a lullaby and that was it? That's the end of it. Okay. Am I going to see anything on that interior balcony? Yeah, th this game is ex this game is extended PT. No, I gotta say, okay, at, like at least at least Layers of Fear came up with its own thing with the painters and all that. Like this game, even its whole like the interior, even the structure of the hallway is PT. But I am I do like it so far, regardless. Where's the phone? There's the phone. You gonna say anything? Nope, okay. Well, why call? I know why they called. This breathing. Mom? Okay, so some Brits are the ones who made this game apparently because Brits spell mom as mum. Evo still say mom. So either, so either, either Brits are like American English where the, wor the word spell doesn't make any goddamn sense or um, their U is pronounced as O, like as AW. One of the two. Because the English language is fucking stupid, but as everybody on the internet knows, it can be understood through tough, thorough thought, though. Ah, that's the first piece of the Ouija board. That's it? It's not even hiding? Wait, 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 I figured you'd have to find these damn things. As in, like, you know, like, legitimately find them. Wait, wait, so is it just like every time you pass through this hallway thing, you just get a fragment? Because in that case, and all you gotta do is just pass by this hallway eight times and you're good to go. Is that all there is to it? No wonder this game only takes an hour to beat at most then. And no wonder why it's so curated and doesn't let you run or anything. Dude, this game would be done in like 20 minutes. Actually, I think most people finish this game in less than an hour. Yep, complete two rounds. So this game just goes in a series of rounds. So this game's already getting kind of predictable. I can't see myself. Nothing into your belt. 
Fuck you. Oh. Six, eight. What kind of shit is this? Am I supposed to remember all that shit? One two nine five? One two five nine? One one two five nine? Damn. One two nine five? Six nine. Five one six nine five one. Six nine five one. Oh, <laughs> Master of Unlocking. Neat. This game definitely loves the horror roots if they're gonna give me a trophy called Master of Unlocking. The Evil Within did that too. <clears throat> Although I kinda like it better in Evil Within because in Evil Within it's more like a um, thing that you don't have to do. In this game you had to do it. So like I feel like they should have been like a uh, more like an Easter egg than a requirement. Interior balcony. That's a weird place to put a staircase, I just gotta say. No. It's just the basement again. Correct. <clears throat> All right, that's two cycles done. I think. That's two or three cycles done. Okay. Oh, can you see yourself? You can't. That's some bullshit. Nice bathroom, though. Hmm. Although, I don't see how that curtain helps anything, because, like, the curtain is, uh, like, barely... <laughs> It wouldn't really keep the water out much, or the water in much, I should say. Do I have to do I have to do something in this mirror? What the hell do I do in here? The gap in the wall. Yeah, I can read this shit game. What gap in the wall? What? I didn't see a gap in the wall. Unless it's in the darkness. But what gap in the wall? Oh, now this is... Okay. I 
And this is where all those lights were flashing. Hmm. Dude, I would love to live there. God, that's a, dude, that's such a nice little college, not college, cottage. Dude, I would love to live there. The gap in the wall? You mean the hole in the wall? What? Oh. Well, that was unexpected. Remember how I called this game getting predictable earlier? Well, I guess it read my mind and it decided to smart up or wise up. Because, uh, heard me. It heard me. It was like, fuck you, man. I'm not fucking, um, predictable. <clears throat> now this reminds me of, um, well. This this atmosphere is wet and the other place is dry, but this reminds me right now of Amnesia Rebirth. Just being in a cave type deal like this. Actually, no, no, no. I think a better one would be um, Blair Witch. I played Blair Witch a little bit, but I stopped playing it because it just got boring and monotonous. Oh, fuck. Fuck. The fucking well. <sighs> Fuck it, let's fucking do it. Alright, come on, bitch. Come on, Rose. Fuck. What the fuck? What? Was it a flashback? Oh. Oh. Okay. You know what? This game is piquing my interest more now. Because that was interesting. I was expecting some kind of jump scare to happen, but it didn't. You know what, game? You're, you're making yourself not so predictable. Or at least parts of you aren't. Parts of you are, parts of you aren't. And I'll take that. Next piece of the Ouija. I, forget, I, I believe there were supposed to be eight pieces of the Ouija board, which is why I said eight cycles to begin with. That's another cycle completed. So I'm already, what, like halfway done with this game? Then I get a simple premise, so I suppose that's fair enough. Complete four rounds. Fuck you. By the way, as per my layers of fear thing, Whenever something freaks me the fuck out in a game like this, my go-to way of dealing with the stress is by telling whatever's causing the stress to fuck itself. Fuck you. 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 Fuck you still. And fuck you again. Look at that dude. Now, oh, now, now it's like a hostile atmosphere, man. Fuck me. Fuck you, Mirror. Oh, fuck. Hey, fuck you. Fuck you. I'm looking away. You can't hurt me if I'm looked away. Um, do I have to look at you? Fine. Hey! Fuck you. <laughs> I knew it. I knew I had to look there. I knew it. So this game is predictable in same Guilty. areas, but less than some others. Father. Oh? 
Oh. Okay. Why do I need this flashlight? I mean, I know why, but... <clears throat> Fuck. Okay. Let's proceed to this. There's a nice piece of the Ouija. Okay. And that's the cycle done. So at this point, I think the game is officially halfway done now, because I think, as far as I know, there are eight pieces. That's why I need a flashlight, because this whole place is dark. <clears throat> Understood. So long as this is only a thing with this, like, one cycle, I'm fine with that. Here's the thing about flashlights in a horror game. Flashlights are an effective way to, like, using flashlights is an effective way to generate horror, but it only goes for so long, right? Like, if it's used for, like, this cycle only, I'm fine with it. <clears throat> but for a game like Resident Evil 2 Reimagining, where the where you have to use flashlights for half the game, it wears out <laughs> Ay! Fuck you! It wears out its welcome. See, but now one of my issues, though, is that, like, it's so dark that I can't quite tell which doors are opening. God damn it. Is it still? It is still. Good. I assume I have to put this thing back on. Guess not. Unless... The Observer. You don't have to be that observant to sit there and fix this thing. <clears throat> oh, well that's fucking stupid. Okay, so apparently you have to go into this room right here, looks like, and, um, to get farther. But in order to go, but in order to, for this door to open, you have to go all the way to that part of the hole, and then all the way back here for no fucking reason. Okay, whatever. That's fucking stupid, but do your thing. No, I don't. Is this, like, the ring? Is that, like, a reference to the ring? I don't think so, because I, I really don't know. You mean to tell me that in order to get past that door, I had to walk back to the hallway, and then just to open that room just to see... Oh, that's interesting. That's like visage. Dude, that was str that is straight up visage. Complete six bucks. Fuck it. Oh, fuck you. Oh, this is getting good. Oh, what the fuck? Ah. Oh. Let's see what happens. That's right, bitch. Oh, she's still chilling there? 
All right, let's go backwards. Come on. That's right. Fuck you. There we go. Oh, fuck you. I do. You know, dude, if you're gonna walk through the whole house, Mr. Mark, can you at least walk faster than a snail's pace? Just saying. This game is approximately like 40 minutes to an hour long, but it feels like it should be like 20 minutes long if you walked faster than like a fucking sloth. I need batteries for my lantern. What? Complete seven rounds. So this should be the last round. This should be the last cycle. Far as I know. Or the second to last cycle. Only my mom knows that I'm scared of circuses. Why is she doing it? I mean, I'll be honest here, dude. Circuses are pretty fucking creepy. Especially in a red lit room like this, so I totally understand. <clears throat> Fuck you. I think I think this kid killed his mom. He just doesn't really remember it. And now his dad is in jail for his fuck up. Fuck you. Fuck you, evil laughter. Oh, fuck. You can't scare me if I go backwards. I'm gonna go backwards, because honestly, it'll just be a jump scare anyway. Come on. Oh, that's a clown. What's up, Buster? I just gotta say, Mark, it seems to me like communicating with her was a bad endeavor. Shouldn't that be it, I think? That should be it. Unless there are more than eight rounds. There shouldn't be more than eight rounds. Because the synopsis said there are only eight pieces. What the fuck? Hmm. Oh, right. Lan you need batteries for your lan- Okay, this guy's bridge, because he's calling a flashlight a lantern. <clears throat> My guy, it's a flashlight. Uh, actually, even calling it a lantern is weird, because like, most people are like Brits call it a torch. Huh. Huh.
intriguing. I get that there's supposed to be a scare factor, but I honestly don't see what the point to half this shit is. This is about the end, right? Like, honestly, it is, right? Ah, there's the rest of the whole board, so that's it then. I won't. Well? Alright. I said, don't look back. I didn't. I didn't. By the way, I didn't really react to it like verbally, but that did that did scare me though. Is it gonna shut my face again? No? Awesome. So that was probably supposed to happen then. So was that it? What's left? Yo, how many... Oy, fuck you, bitch. My mom's camera. What's that doing here? Don't know. Go out. go out. Oh, okay. And now the camera's gone. So I'm going back to the well now. Looks like it. Discover the truth. <clears throat> the ring. Yep. You 
your father is serving your sentence. But you will serve my sentence. <laughs> now. That was it? Okay. Well, um, just a bit quick review. So, the story, it was a simple enough game. It was a very simple game. There was about 10 cycles, basically PT. It was more PT than even Layers of Fear was. Not as good as Layers of Fear either. Um, so, the story was very simple, and it, the story barely even mattered, honestly. Each cycle only had like one or two little things. So here's my main two. Here's my main. T so some things I liked. I liked. I actually did like the atmosphere. The atmosphere is pretty good. It was a bit simplistic, but that's okay. Story was way too simplistic, man. Like, I mean, okay. So the story was about as simplistic as I don't know. It was just a little too simple. Let me tell you my. So this game's strongest aspect is its um is its uh atmosphere. Its weakest aspect is its uh puzzles. Here's why I say that. Now I don't think any of this is actually gonna make it onto the video. Probably almost none of it, because I'm gonna cut it all out because it's fucking stupid. But so here's my issue with it. <clears throat> is that Look at that. You see, the, the, the same people are voicing like everybody. So he, here's my issue with it, is that it's kind of like, so you'll, each cycle, you have to do like one or two puzzles, which I'll show, but then like in order to get these damn puzzles to actually work, which is why there's probably a bunch of cuts in it, is that like, okay, so like, what will have you do, so like you'll, you'll go through the hallway, you'll get like halfway through it, and then there'll be something to do, and then like, the final door to get down to that basement place won't even open. Like, you have to go to that door, go all the way the fuck back to the beginning of the hallway, and then go all the way the fuck back for no fucking reason before the goddamn door opens. It's so fucking stupid. So that aspect of it is really dumb, and, and you have to walk about as slow as a goddamn snail. Like, if it weren't for that stupid bullshit, dude, this game would take, like, 20 fucking minutes straight up. Um... So, ultimately, this game, like, for like a five minute joyride, I guess it's kind of good. It's... I can't recommend... I couldn't recommend this game. It's too short, too simplistic. The game, I definitely get it being less than an hour. Dude. Okay, like, straight Okay, Without the stupid shit of walking back and forth between the hallways for no fucking reason, this is like a 15 minute game. Like, straight up. This would serve to be like an iOS game. Like straight the fuck, the, the controls are simplistic enough. Um, so ultimately, I enjoyed the atmosphere for what it was, for the most part. Well here's the thing, the, the, the going back and forth into hallways for no fucking reason actually fucks it over a little bit by itself. Because it took out like everything, dude. Cause like, after every little thing of tension, you have to waste your fucking time going back and forth between fucking hallways. So it loses itself. I don't know. Uh, it was all right for what it was. Um, that's about all I got. I mean, shit. I'll give myself 30 seconds in case I have anything else to say. Fuck 30 seconds. That's it right there. Already good to go. So, um, that's all I got for it. Simplistic game, simplistic gameplay. I don't see what the fuck collecting the goddamn Ouija board pieces had to do with anything because those didn't really do anything, but whatevs. You know, one more thing too, one thing that disappoints me about the story, you don't even know how the fuck Mark killed the bitch. Like, I don't know. Anyway, that's it, this is my playthrough. Yeah, this has been Evil Inside. Next will be Resident Evil Village, as far as I know. <laughs>